Hello and welcome to chapter 1, tutorial 2 of my C++ and DirectX 11 tutorials. So this time we're going to see about basic types. They're not much different to what you already know, except maybe for a string. So let's erase what we have here. We won't need that line anymore. And basically you can have a type, let's say int a equal 10, all right? float b equal 3.5 f, right? So in C sharp, you have that little f you have to put also. If you don't put that, it's going to throw you a warning. Uh, sorry, it's actually not making a warning, <laughs> but uh, you're supposed to put uh, f there when it's a float. And then you can have double and then uh, just type something. And you notice there you don't need an f because it's a double. f stands for float here. And then uh, you can have, uh, then we're going to output this, a equal, and then you can chain, like I said, this is a stream, so you can chain, you know, put this there, then put a in it, then put an end line. Uh, then you can do the same thing for b, let's do this, let's do the same thing for c, and let's run this. So you're going to see here, a equal 10, B equal 3.5, and C equal 3.43, 21. All right, so easy enough, All right? Uh, basic types. So now we're going to see the string type. You're going to have to include it because it is not a basic type. It is a standard type. It's part of the standard name, name space, but it is not like a language built-in type, like a float or an int. So we're going to string d equal hello world, all right? So you can just write it like this. You will see the color shall change for string. And then we can just output it. d equal d. And here it is, d equal hello world. Simple enough. Now we're going to see a little bit more complex types. You're going to see that a lot. It's what we call a struct. Those familiar with C++, uh, C Sharp, I mean, uh, really no structs. All right, so basically you can type struct, let's call it hero because we're making games here. And everything is public by default in a, in a struct. So you can just start typing stuff. So name equal uh, Bob, and then is elf is 100. And those are just default value. You can change them after. And we're going to create a hero, same way we did with the other types, right? So CS, C structs has more complex types. So those that did uh, XNA or Unity 3D uh, with C sharp, you know that they have to type some types like this, like vector two or vector three, and they are structs. All right, so you can just declare them like that. You don't need to do a new after. Right, and we're going to print that hero. So we can do stuff like hero.name, all right? So dot is to access the, the, the variable into, into the type, into the, the instance. <clears throat> and you can say name as hero.elf, elf. Line. Let's try this. I'm just going to show the code there a little bit longer for you. All right, so you can see Bob as 100 elf. Mm, wonderful. So we put we we put this the the name here in the stream. We put as, then we put elf, then we put he is elf. And notice that I've put little space here. Okay, otherwise you'll have some formatting issue. Like the name will be attached to this. This is not automatic. All right, so. That's it for basic types and a little bit more complex types. So you can build your own types basically that are a little bit more complex and can contain stuff in it. See them as class. They are basically class, just they are public by default. I could have done this, all right? And I specify that everything that follows is going to be public and it's going to do the exact same thing. All right, that struck as a class, but his members are public by default. All right, so let's see each other in the next tutorials. That's going to be about 
string manipulation. Thanks for watching.